so this video is going to be a little more serious than some of my other videos, and it has, it has nothing to do with um, how I'm feeling, whether I'm mad or happy or, or you know, excited or, or angry or anything like that, but it, it is a video that I thought I should probably get out and uh, explain. Now, tomorrow is the release date of Black Ops 3, and on the 11th is the release date of Fallout 4. I'm not getting Fallout 4 because my computer, my school computer can't handle it. Um, for Black Ops 3, I'll definitely get it because my school computer could, is actually super good. Um, but not, a, not it doesn't have like a GTX 970 or whatever, you know. It uh, has like an Intel Core 6, 600, uh, Intel, Intel HD graphics like 600, 6000 series. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's actually pretty damn good with an i5. Uh, i5 5100U processor, I think 2.7 or 3 gigahertz processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM. So it's actually really sweet when it comes, uh, you know, it's, uh, I'll probably be able to play at least like 60 FPS low settings on like, you know, uh, 13, whatever, whatever my uh, resolution of my screen is right now. But anyway, guys, what I want to say is that like lately I've been going through a lot of fun things like I've been at the school and I've been enjoying myself been making a lot of friends uh, but you know what at the start of it it was really really hard you know like I, the first week I didn't want to do it anymore I wanted to come home I wanted to say screw this why did I ever choose why did I choose this and and at the point in that was that I left behind so much in my my past life. I mean, I left behind my friends, and I was only 14, and I left my family, and that is hard for a 14-year-old, like, no matter what you say, like, for me especially, because I've been, I like to say that I'm so extremely close with my parents, like, I, I try to spend as much time as I can with them, and for me to leave them, it's a huge deal, it's a really big deal, it's a big deal for any 14-year-old to just leave their parents, and and only see them maybe once every month or two. And for me, the first month, first week was like, I don't know when I'll see my parents again. Because I didn't know when I'd come back. I, I left I left my parents on August 19th. And I wasn't sure if they are going to come to matriculation or not. Matriculation is when I have to walk through the Culver Gate. And that, that right there, that was... That right there was a symbolization of me realizing that, like, this place is actually really cool. But I remember how emotional I was when I first saw my parents on the 26th a week later. It's because I the first week was was really difficult for me, and I was really emotional. And then having to say bye to them again and, and, never be, and not being able to see them um, for another six, seven weeks was the hardest part. Uh, but I want to leave. And there's... there's something that I need to say, and it's like, screw the haters, you know, I mean, like, people will always hate on you, and, and what drove me to keep on pushing, and what keep on staying at this school, was that I, I understood that, like, I put so much effort, effort into this, my parents are so proud of me for coming here, and everyone in my old school told me that I can't make it, everyone in my old school told me I can't make it, I don't have the willpower to make it, I'm not the, I'm not, smart enough to make it to the school i'm not strong enough to make it to the school and quite frankly i'm just not a good candidate for that school that's what they told me at my old school and there's one kid in general one kid especially who said that and i remember he sat at my table at lunch and my close friends i mean they hated him and they they still do i mean i don't like him and I mean, I'm not hating on him because, quite frankly, he was kind of a douche. And to this day, he's still a douche. And my old friend, my I can't say my old friend, but he's kind of an old friend of mine. Um, but my friends back in Fort Wayne, they they don't even speak to him. Not that I know of, anyway. And it's, like, it's interesting because when you say to yourself that you don't care what other people think, that you don't care how other people think of you, how they think of... Uh, th your actions or how they think of the things that you do on a daily basis and for me the things that I do on a daily basis is YouTube I, I mean I try to do it on a daily basis trying to do my best you know but I mean I'll probably upload I'll try to upload it every day I'll make that deal with you guys I'll put forth five minutes to upload a video every day uh, that's that's all I'm gonna say because that right there uploading dailies is the challenge and I want that challenge um, but when I say to myself, and when any of you say to yourself that you don't want to continue to do something, that you put forth a lot of effort to get there in general in the first place, then you're quitting. And you're not just quitting, but you're quitting because of somebody else. 
if you leave some if you leave if you quit a sport if you play a sport and you wanted to play that sport but then it turns out that the sport was too hard for you or the players on your team were better than you and and you didn't want to be the last person that's not called stop I don't want to play the sport anymore that's called I quit I quit the sport I quit for no good reason because that's not a good reason you're quitting not for yourself but for the others you're quitting your reason for quitting is not your a decision that you want inside of you because a decision that you made inside of you from the beginning was that I want to be part of the sport and there's this is model that I saw one time when I was in the in the gym of this of my school that I'm at right now and it said whenever you want to quit something think of the reasons why you began and that stuck with me I thought about that every single day after after my parents left for the seven weeks I thought to myself you know and obviously the quote was supposed to be for for like working out but like I thought to myself why did I come here for education for discipline for building character for being a better man for respecting others I thought about that and I decided to myself that I want to stay here so for those of you who want to quit something who who don't want to do something screw the haters and live your life do it fulfill that dream that you had in the beginning now if somebody forced you to play that or to do that thing then don't tell, don't then that's a great reason to stop but if you decide to yourself that you want to do that and a week later you said that you don't want to do it anymore finish off the season who knows maybe you'll be good at it maybe you'll improve when I first started YouTube I'll give you a good example I was horrible at it. You guys can go watch my old videos. My gameplays were garbage. My my speaking skills were garbage. And I, I mean, speaking skills today aren't that good for YouTube, but better than they were before. And my commentaries weren't good back then. Nowadays, I'd like to think that I improved on my commentary skills. I'm able to speak for longer times. I'm able to uh, give out my opinion. I'm, I don't say um and uh all the time. I, I try to speak clearly and that's something that I didn't have back then now think about that situation to yourself if you are if you joined a sport like hockey for example and we have a good example of this a guy from my school here he's from Guatemala and he wanted to play hockey and he put and he said to himself I want to play hockey he's never skated before he went out and skated on the first day of our, our team's practice and he was horrible at it and he and and the coaches and I and everyone on our team are backing him up. And he doesn't want to quit. You wanna know why? It's because he said to himself that it doesn't matter that I'm I am new at this. I wanna be the best. I wanna be the best I can be at the sport. He puts forth the most effort that he can during practice. And that's something that people need to follow. I mean, that's called being a leader. I mean, he joined for himself, and he's still for himself. Never once did he think to himself, or maybe he has, but never once has he said to himself, or said to us, that he wants to stop playing hockey for Culver Military Academy. He always told him. I mean, he's always coming to practice. He's always one of the first people in the locker room getting ready. He's the first person on the ice, the last person off. And that right there, that's what's called a true leader. So screw the haters, and if you have an issue, and if you keep on wanting to do something, like my parents, they always told my, told me, you have to get A's in classes. I'm trying to get A's, but you know what? I don't want, I mean, my parents told me, you're going to Harvard. I don't want to go to Harvard. I told them that, and that's straight up. So I want to do something with my life. I want I don't want to be the smartest kid. I want to be one of the smartest kids, but I don't want to be the smartest kid because I know to be with the smartest kid, you have to straight up study all the time. Alright? I wanna I wanna enjoy life. Life's only given once. As as of what we know right now, life is only given to us once. I don't want to spend my Saturdays, my Fridays, my Saturdays, every single waking moment of the day thinking about my grades and thinking about my homework. I want to spend my time enjoying myself and enjoying the life that I was given, and the life that I have right now, and the life that I'm walking around every single day and enjoying. So moral of the story is, screw the haters, and just live your life. No matter what people say, even if this commentary was really corny, I know it's really corny, 
Um, but just understand um, that you make your own decisions. I mean, don't make, don't have other people make your decisions for you. See you guys in the next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe. And all this is kind of a long one, 10 minutes long. I actually have to get to classes. I would make this a podcast, but I have class in about 15 minutes, so I have to get going. Um, it's not that far. It's like a three, four minute walk from here. So really, I could leave and I can leave in 10 minutes. But I have to, you know, save this video and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your, leave your, com leave your comments in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.